More than a kilometer below the ocean's surface lies a world where sunlight cannot reach. Pressure rises beyond 100 atmospheres. Temperatures hover near freezing. And yet within this crushing ink black realm, two giants move in silence. The sperm whale, Physeter macrocephalus, and the giant squid, Architeuthis ducks. Their conflict, rarely seen and barely recorded, has long fueled myth and fascination. It is a confrontation that defines the boundaries of biology, intelligence against instinct, sonar against silence, mammal against mollusk. What was once myth, the kraken and the leviathan, is now a scientifically documented reality that continues to astonish oceanographers. The sperm whale is unlike any other hunter on Earth. Growing up to 18 meters long and weighing 50 tons, it is both a deep diver and a master strategist. Its most iconic feature, the colossal square head, houses the largest brain of any animal and a vast organ filled with spermaceti oil used for echolocation. This organ functions as a biological sonar array. By sending out powerful clicks and listening to the returning echoes, sperm whales can map their surroundings with astonishing detail even identifying soft-bodied prey like squid, which reflect sound poorly. The precision is so high that researchers believe a sperm whale can distinguish between species of squid by sound alone. Its dives are epic feats of endurance. Before descending, a whale takes a series of deep, slow breaths, saturating its tissues with oxygen. It can hold its breath for over 90 minutes, reaching depths beyond 2,000 meters. During descent, its heart rate drops to conserve energy and its lungs collapse safely under pressure, an adaptation unique to deep diving mammals. Opposite this behemoth floats the enigmatic giant squid. Once thought to be purely mythical, Architeuthis dukes was first photographed alive only in 2004 and filmed in its natural habitat in 2012. To this day, live observations remain astonishingly rare. Fewer than a dozen confirmed sightings exist. The giant squid's body design is a study in alien efficiency. Its two dinner plate sized eyes, the largest of any known animal, allow it to detect the faintest flashes of bioluminescence, possibly the only visual cue in the abyss. Its eight arms and two long tentacles equipped with rotating suction cups lined with sharp kittenous teeth can snare prey in an instant. Unlike its smaller cousins, the giant squid does not rely on ink clouds. Ink disperses uselessly in the deep. Instead, it depends on stealth, flexibility, and powerful jet propulsion to evade threats. Its entire body is built for neutral buoyancy. Muscles reinforced with ammonium-rich fluids make it naturally weightless in water, allowing it to hover with minimal effort. Over millions of years, these two species have shaped one another's evolution in an underwater arms race. The whale evolved stronger sonar and reinforced jaws to detect and seize elusive squid. The squid evolved tougher tissues, massive eyes, and gripping tentacles to survive the whale's assaults. Every scar on a sperm whale's head tells this evolutionary story. Circular suction marks, often the size of dinner plates, are not decoration, but battle records. The deeper the scars, the more encounters the whale has survived. The squid, in turn, bears evolutionary signatures of survival. Powerful jet propulsion muscles, fast-reacting chromatophores for camouflage, and flexible connective tissue that resists tearing. Some deep sea researchers even describe their struggle as a biological cold war, an unending evolutionary duel fought in darkness. How does a sperm whale find and capture a squid in total darkness? The answer lies in sound. Sperm whales produce clicks up to 230 decibels, louder than a jet engine, using air chambers inside their head. These sounds focus through the spermaceti organ, creating a narrow beam that sweeps the abyss like radar. When echoes bounce back from a squid, the whale constructs a three-dimensional mental image of its target, direction, 
size, distance, even speed. Scientists call this process acoustic imaging, a biological equivalent of sonar technology. Once the whale closes in, it accelerates, mouth agape, lower jaw extended. Rows of interlocking conical teeth snap shut on the squid's body. The whale swallows its prey whole, aided by a throat as wide as a human torso. Despite centuries of fascination, no human has ever witnessed a full battle between a giant squid and a sperm whale. What we know comes from aftermaths. The remains of squid found in whale stomachs and the scars whales bear on their skin. Each encounter is thought to occur a thousand meters deep where light cannot penetrate. The whale hunts by sonar, the squid by touch and instinct. When cornered, the squid's tentacles strike in defense, wrapping around the whale's head, leaving scars that may persist for decades. Researchers examining stranded whales have found hundreds of squid beaks in their stomachs, remnants of countless unseen confrontations. Each beak made of indigestible chitin serves as forensic evidence of the deep sea war that rages out of sight. What makes their clash remarkable isn't violence, it's balance. The whale does not annihilate the squid population. Rather, their relationship maintains the deep ocean ecosystem's equilibrium. Sperm whales consume roughly 100 million tons of squid annually, yet the squid's reproductive strategy compensates effortlessly. A single female can release millions of eggs. Their larvae drift upward to the midwater layers, feeding countless smaller predators before a few survive to adulthood. This cyclical dynamic fuels the entire deep-sea food web, from microscopic plankton to massive whales. Without it, much of the ocean's carbon transport, the movement of organic material from surface to deep, would collapse. The battle is not destruction but renewal. Sperm whales are not just powerful, they are intelligent. Their brains weigh five times more than a human's, and their social complexity rivals that of elephants and orcas. They live in matrilineal pods, communicate through codas, patterns of cliques, and possibly share dialects unique to each group. While males dive alone to hunt in the abyss, they return to warmer waters to socialize and mate. Calves are raised communally, protected and taught by older females. The hunting skills used against the giant squid are not purely instinctive. They are learned behaviors passed down through generations. The idea that a sperm whale's deep dives are part of a cultural inheritance, not just biology, opens new questions about cetacean intelligence. Do they remember specific hunting grounds? Do they recognize recurring patterns of squid migration? Research is beginning to suggest they might. Equally fascinating is the squid's sensory world. Giant squids possess nerve fibers among the largest in the animal kingdom, up to one millimeter thick, allowing lightning-fast reflexes. Their skin can detect minute changes in water pressure, giving them a sixth sense that alerts them to approaching predators long before visual detection. They also exhibit chromatophore signaling, skin cells that expand or contract to create flashes of light and color. Though the deep is too dark for color vision, these flashes might serve as communication between individuals or as distraction during attacks. Even more intriguing, their eyes may not simply detect light, but interpret bioluminescent signatures. Each organism emits light differently. The squid might identify species by the rhythm or wavelength of those flashes, effectively seeing through bioluminescent codes. For centuries, the idea of a sea monster wrapping its arms around a ship haunted sailors. The kraken of Scandinavian folklore was almost certainly inspired by rare encounters with giant squids washing ashore after storms. Early naturalists dismissed these tales as exaggerations until evidence began surfacing in the 19th century. In 1873, fishermen in Newfoundland found a giant squid tentacle measuring nearly 10 meters. By the 21st century, with deep sea submersibles and remote cameras, the myth was finally confirmed, yet reality proved even stranger. Modern footage reveals not a monstrous killer, 
but a cautious, graceful creature adapted for stealth. The true wonder isn't terror, it's precision. The sperm whale, once hunted for oil, is now one of the ocean's great survivors. The giant squid, once dismissed as fantasy, is a symbol of how much remains undiscovered. Together they form a biological myth still unfolding. A living drama of evolution beneath the waves. Their encounter might seem remote, but it tells us something profound about Earth's last frontier. The deep ocean covers more than 60% of the planet's surface, yet we have mapped only a fraction of it. In that vastness, relationships like the whale-squid duel define the flow of life and energy. Every time a whale hunts, it redistributes nutrients. When it defecates near the surface, it releases iron and nitrogen that fertilize plankton blooms, the foundation of the marine food chain. In this way, each dive links the abyss to the surface, connecting ecosystems thousands of meters apart. Even death continues the cycle. When a sperm whale dies, its carcass becomes a whale fall, feeding deep sea communities for decades. The squid, in turn, nourishes the whale, and through it, the entire oceanic web. Studying these encounters pushes technology to its limits. Deep-sea submersibles operate under extreme pressure, their lights reaching only a few meters ahead. Acoustic sensors pick up the faint songs of whales, but the squid remains mostly invisible, an echo, a blur, a hypothesis. Projects like Japan's Jamstec and NOAA's Okeanos Explorer continue to search for direct evidence combining sonar, camera arrays, and environmental DNA, eDNA, to trace encounters. In 2023, researchers recorded a deep sonar signature consistent with a large cephalopod mass near diving whales, a clue that these battles still occur daily, unseen by human eyes. With every mission, the line between legend and fact grows thinner. The ocean still hides stories that our technology has yet to catch up with. Perhaps the most striking aspect of this relationship is its paradoxical beauty. The sperm whale, intelligent, social, and vocal, survives by preying on a creature almost entirely silent, solitary, and unknowable. Both are apex predators, yet neither dominates the other's realm completely. The whale cannot see its prey. The squid cannot escape its echo. Their conflict is not chaos, but choreography an ancient pattern that sustains the deep-sea ecosystem. In a sense, their battle is not about death, but about continuity, the eternal recycling of energy in the planet's most mysterious domain. The myth of the Leviathan and the Kraken endures because it captures something elemental, our awe before the unknown. Science has stripped away fantasy, yet what remains is no less extraordinary. In the deep ocean, two of Earth's most remarkable creatures meet in silence. One sees with sound, the other listens with skin. One breathes air, the other breathes water. Yet both depend on the same fragile web of life that binds the surface to the abyss. Their struggle, unseen yet unending, reminds us that Earth's greatest stories are not written on land or in the stars, but in the darkness below where giants still roam, and where evolution's imagination has never stopped creating.